20% lamang ang nasasakupan ng coral reefs sa buong karagatan. Pero 25% ng global marine species ang umaasa dito para sa tirahan at pagkain. Around 500 coral species naman ang matatagpuan dito sa Pilipinas. Pero 1% na lamang ito ang natitirang nasa excellent condition. Kasabay ng COVID-19 pandemic, nagkaroon ng coral bleaching ang iba't ibang bahagi ng Philippine reefs. Sa Kalatagan, Batangas, umabot sa severity 4 ng coral bleaching ang naitala ng Philippine Coral Bleaching Watch. Ito ay nagsimula ilang buwan ang nakalipas ngayong taon. Naobserbahan din ang pamumuti ng mga bahura sa ilang bahagi ng World Heritage Site na Dobataha Reefs Natural Park. Ang dami nating coral bleaching na naganap this year, more than I've ever seen since I've been into Bataha. Ang coral bleaching o pamumuti ng bahura ay nangyayari kapag sobrang umiinit ang temperatura ng tubig dagat. When coral bleaching happens, it acts like the, the coral has a fever. It removes its plant part and because of that, it can't be able to make food for itself. It starts to turn white, it gets weaker, it's basically um, the coral is having its own version of COVID, you know. When the coral is sick, it won't, it cannot perform its duties, which is number one, providing shelter for um, the marine life that we rely on for food. Number two, since it's not strong enough, when storms come, when especially that it's typhoon season, um, when it comes and it hits, it won't be able to protect the coasts anymore. Number three, if the corals don't survive this and it won't come back, it will affect everyone who relies on the coral reefs for tourism. Ang green gases emissions mula sa pagsusunog ng fossil fuels ang isa sa mga tinuturong dahilan ng pagbabago ng klima na nagdudulot naman ng iba't ibang problema sa kalikasan tulad ng coral bleaching, ang simpleng naiwang nakabukas na hindi ginagamit na ilaw sa tahanan o opisina ay isa rin sa nakakadagdag sa green gases emissions. A lot of people are asking me, how can they help the ocean while they live in the city? while they're in the office or working from home right now, right? Every little action you do affects the ocean. Whether it be the products you use, um, whatever you you take a shower, go, goes down the drain, it ends up in the ocean. Um, all your little actions of all the gadgets you're using, how much electricity you're using, that really takes, takes a toll. And most importantly, what causes coral bleaching and all these greenhouse gases is majority of it is the production of single-use plastic. All these plastic bottles, all these you know wrappers and everything. Um, it takes so much energy and so much fossil fuels burning that to make this one thing that we're only going to use once. Now, if you really do care about the ocean and you want to help, then changing your lifestyle from home and of course as you go to the beach also and everything um, really really helps. So. Thank you.